Hi, I'm Anne Foychain. I'm the author of Juliet. A lot of people assume that the idea for Juliet came with me all snuggled up on the couch reading Romeo and Juliet, Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet, but it's actually uh, different. What happened was that I went to Siena on sort of a mother and daughter trip with my mom and uh, and I was just completely swept away by that place. I don't know how many of you guys have been to Siena in Tuscany, but it's just an unbelievably charming place. It's like stepping into the Middle Ages. And uh, I just knew as soon as I set foot there that I had to set a story there. It was only later that I discovered that in fact the very first version of the Romeo and Juliet story, I mean we're talking uh, over a century before Shakespeare was actually set in Siena. So, you know, then I had the place and I had the story. The novel is basically going back and forth in time. It's a present day story uh, that goes back and forth to the sort of original Romeo and Juliet story. Juliet is about a young woman who discovers that she might be descended from Julietta Ptolemy, uh, a woman who lived in Siena in the Middle Ages and discovers that this could have been the woman who inspired Shakespeare's Juliet. So Julie, as her name is, goes to Siena uh, looking for, basically looking for the original story of Romeo and Juliet. Uh, and of course as she goes over there she meets, you know, various descendants of uh, the other famous people in Shakespeare's play. A lot of people ask me, do I have to read Romeo and Juliet to appreciate Juliet? Uh, and um, and I'm, I'm sure that most of us, even if we haven't just recently read Romeo and Juliet, we have sort of an idea of what it's about and so on. And I think that, that everybody can appreciate how Juliet is playing with a lot of those themes from Romeo and Juliet and playing with Shakespeare's language and Shakespeare's characters and trying to sort of employ everything in a new way. It's difficult to say a lot about the characters in Juliet without uh, giving away too much. Uh, but I think uh, I can safely say that uh, it's, it's very much a story about family and uh, it's a story about uh, coming to terms with some dark secrets in your family. Uh, there are things you know, uh, you have to come to terms with some old ghosts uh, of your own creation that you have to wrangle. And I think that in that sense you might say that the modern day story um, parallels the uh, the original story of Romeo and Juliet insofar as um, as you have to really overcome um, you have to overcome this this tendency to feud in order to create a happy end which of course is what Julia our main character really wants to do I'm so excited to see how Juliet is received uh, down under and I think the book is so beautiful um, with the old canvas look and so on. I, I can't wait to hear what you think about it and uh, I wish you wonderful, wonderful months of reading.